Hey, what's going on you guys? It's Mr. Fodger back here with another episode of FIFA Mobile. And we're going to start off here by looking at the matchup results. Um, as you can tell, uh, here are the following. Brazil beat Russia 3-0. Argentina beat Italy 2-0. Germany drew with Spain 1-1. England beat Netherlands 1-0. France lost to Colombia 3-2. And Mexico beat Iceland 3-0. So this is an official one. I do know you may see one or two things which might be interesting but i thought i'll start off with that so what that means for myself is that i have got four i mean four the matchup results so obviously you can't comp uh, get them until then i've got four now you're wondering what i'm gonna do i am going to debate is it worth a million coins or is it worth getting an 85 rated player now don't get me wrong, the million coin sounds more tempting at times, but you've got to remember it's an 85 rated Brazilian player, which is going to possibly lead to an SBC or two coming up. I've kept a lot of my players. I know what you're going to see is a lot of my players here, which I've kept. I kept obviously Paulinho, I kept Jefferson. Um, of them, I know I've got to sell like people like Philippe, Talisa, and Ashria Blaga, but I'm waiting for the prices to go up, which they are now, thanks to squad builder challenges. We'll get onto that a bit later on. I've got Malcolm Swan up here. Where is Malcolm? 85 as well. So we do have a couple of players which are from Brazil. So that's not the issue. The issue what I have is with the SBCs themselves. Now, depending on what the SBCs gods, EA, decide upon, we'll wait, we have to wait and see. But we'll um, talk about one or two things. First off... We need to talk about is legends. Now legends are weekly activities of refresh, but no eye contest of yet. Who knows when they're going to come out? They haven't confirmed the date for that. Second of squad builder challenges. I'm going to let you know. I am not doing a single squad builder challenge until they fix it. No offense, they are extreme overpayment. Just this one here, right? For eighty thousand coins, you need a seventy-three rated squad, one aggression, three leagues, six players. Don't get me wrong, for 73 rated squad, that's not too bad, you can do that, that's not bad. When you get up to the final ones, which is what I saw, do not recommend them, because you have to sacrifice a good, too good a squad. This one here is doable, I'm not sure about the other two, I think number four isn't, number four, number five isn't, but three I think is doable. Also, I am not doing this Uda, or Under, or how not, I pronounce it Under, Under. Not under or something like that, but depends. Um, I'm I'm gonna say this. I was thinking, is there a way for me to do it or not? And is it worth doing it? The answer is it's not. I was I can do it, but for an 82 rated Turkish player, I'm sacrificing a lot of good players. I mean, Brazilian, Spanish, Portuguese, English, Italian as well. So no, I wouldn't do this. So no, this SBC is not going to be done. And the only other one which interests me as much as that is good old Paul Pogba, 87 rated CDM. Now, the reason why Paul Pogba interests me is because A, he's not too expensive, even though he's an 18 minimum rated squad. So yeah, that's where the issues lie. The, the problem is Pogba is tradable, if I'm correct. Oh, this one can't be auctioned. But he is auctionable. Let's just confirm he is. I think I, I saw this one. This is what annoyed me about this. Where is it? That's it. If he is auctionable. Yep. Absolute worthless. Under 400k he costs. Don't get me wrong. I could buy him. And that would save me more money than actually completing the SBC. What I will say about the SBC... It's not a bad idea, it's just the problem is, it's too much. It's it was, it's too much of a requirement that I need to sacrifice a squad over 500k for a player worth less than that. Now, I'm pretty sure Pogba wasn't, but if you want to get Pogba, please feel free to. I won't recommend it, but Paul Pogba is on the market, if you do want him. You also got one or two things which also caught my eye, I'm not sure if it caught yours. Uh, first off, we're going to need to go into every single little thing, so it might take me a minute or two. So, first off, I apologise for that, I just need to keep an eye out. 
Und noch nichts. Mehr ist okay. Okay, first off, I claim these. Not too bothered about that. Second off, the squad builder itself doesn't actually interest me. The, there are certain things like, for example, this Zarades, I don't want him. What is it about people thinking a 93 rated center forward is good? To a point, yes, you're right. He is good. But will he fit my team? No. Will he fit most people's teams? No. Unless you adjust to him, he won't. And that's where the problem lies. Anyway, that's it for this episode. Actually, you fought wrong, and so did I. Because I'm on to my final topic. Tournament. Not sure if you guys have done it or not, but I want to talk about this for about three or four minutes, so please do excuse me. First off, I'm going to say this. First off, tournaments are disgusting. I think the new layout is interesting, but in a negative way, not in a positive way. Because it's ruined my review on what I thought was wrong. And that was matchups. And now, the reason why I say that is if you look at your, your overall now, it will be either 17 to 90 if you do this team. It ruins your league. And the question is, this is no lie. Would you ruin your league gameplay just to guarantee yourself an SBC, which is probably even average? Don't get me wrong. If I got a chance to do a Yank. He will make my team, but to play 10 games and to have versus attack players luck, I don't have. Sone, no. Ronaldo beats him just. But saying that, 97 over 95, he's already 90 rated. So yeah, Ronaldo wins 97 over 91, but with the boost, technically, Aubameyang beats Kane. So Aubameyang is stronger than Kane, so that's the only thing that will interest me, the 10 wins. But to get 10 wins in a row, it's not going to be easy first off, due to the new requirements, which is what I want to talk about. The new requirements, 11 versus attack players. Now, 11 versus attack players is the main reason why I wanted to bring this up, because, let me show you something, right? Versus attack, right? 11 versus attack players I've got. Two of them are duped, and I can't tell them on the market for anything, because they're worthless. So, yep, they're the two which I got to do. The rest of my team is there. I have no defense, no chance of me doing it, and I am not at all interested in it. The only way how I could have done it is if I got a goalkeeper and a defender. And by a defender, I mean a center back. I would have considered it if I got a center back and a goalie, and I'm not going to get them, so no, I'm not going to do that. Mm. I'm just trying to think. So that's that, and then you're wondering. Now I do like this filter. It does. You can alter it by program. So you got your team of the week, your campaign, your scouting, your matchups, your mobile masters, league domination, team arrows, Sunday communities, tournament, old tournament, trophy masters, icons, player of the months. Now and later, which is no longer around, 250s, which you could have got. November, which is no longer around. Thanksgiving, no longer around. Flash sales, not around. The League of Rivals, not around. Football Freeze, good event, not around anymore. New Year's, not around anymore. Team of the Year, finished. End of Era, not around. Record Breakers, not around. Carnival, finished. Heartbreakers, not around. St. Patrick's, finished. The only ones which are, um, which are current are yeah, Squad Builder Challenges, Campaigns, Team Heroes League. Obviously, your league is thing. Oh, yeah, because he's my sign next eye, right? So, yeah, that's the pretty much the whole thing. But what what is the key thing is to keep an eye on what you need. Now, would I do the versus attack thing? No, it's not worth it. 11 players is a requirement. This is what I was talking about. Sorry, I got a bit distracted with the things in my squad and how you can look. It's sort of interesting. If you give it a bit of time, you actually enjoy it. But the thing what I don't like about versus attack is the fact that this is the way going forward. And I don't know if it's a one-off, which is what I'm hoping it is, or if it's always this thing. And another thing what annoys me is the squad builder challenge. It's not enough that you just win 10 games. You've got to sacrifice the squad. Depending on the requirements and ratings, will it be worth it or not? I don't know, but if you guys do complete the Aubameyang or complete the Sane, please do attach a video for me. Um, the only reason why I say that, I'm kind of intrigued on it. So, if it's worth it or not. 
Anyway, I hope you guys did enjoy. If you are new around here, please do like and subscribe. If you didn't, leave a dislike. Sorry for making this video a bit dragged on about some things because I got a bit distracted on one or two things. Anyway, I'll speak to you all on tomorrow's episode, which I don't know if they're going to release something for Sunday or not. I'll give it a try this week. Next week, if they don't release something, it's going to be pre-recorded. I do I do apologise for the pre-recorded episodes. The only reason why I say that is because it's a lack of quality... Um, Lack of ambition to play the game. Anyway, hope you guys enjoy and goodbye.